all pro mm -hmm. dad. Absolutely. He tells me that. He's yeah. like, you know, you're going to have the positive and the negative of it. But, you know, he, he tells me that if you go out there and you play, I know what type of player you are. You know, your player is going to speak for itself, the type of person you are. So he's like, I made all of the mistakes for you. You know, you go out there and you play, and you're going to know who you are. So. Thanks so much, man. Thank you. What do you think se separates you playing style from your dad? Playing style? Uh, <laughs> I mean, not too much, to be honest. I mean, he, he loved to go over the middle. He loved to go deep. He didn't. He always prided himself on being able to run every route from the tree and be able to, like, when the ball goes in there, it's his. So I really pride myself on that, you know, not having something out of my out of my range to do on the field from jet sweeps to, to running deep, anything. So. Walter said over there that uh, you really got him good on the slant. Yeah. <laughs> can, can, you, can you walk me through that? You know, he's uh, it's one on ones. He's playing man coverage. Uh, I just hit him with a hit him with a move outside. Came back inside, stemmed up, uh, broke to the slant. It was a little up, but I went and grabbed it. You know, we, we talk trash out there, but, you know, Walt's a great competitor. Uh, I've talked to him since last year. Uh, he balled out last season. He's going to be great this season. Uh, I just love competing against those types of guys. So uh, that's how it is every practice. That's how I, it is every practice. I was talking to Kendall after the season as well, and he mentioned that, um, you know, with, with Zub and with Sean, you might be overlooked and might be the most dangerous of, of them all because of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are great guys. You know, and they're going into their last year. Uh, I know they're excited for the season, just like the rest of the receivers are. Um, Sean, he had a great season last year as well as Zul, but I know they're, you know, really ready to get it after this last season. There's something about your last season that really makes you want to go get it. So um, I'm excited to go with, with those guys. You know, I'm not really worried about being overlooked as, as crazy as it seems. You know, I've been in college for three years, but I still got three years left of eligibility, which is which is crazy to think. But um, you know, I'm headed into this year ready to just give the team everything I've got. So. You had a good game against Notre Dame. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and now you'll be playing some, some Big 12 teams. You looking forward to that? Oh, yeah. I love this conference. It's so, such an explosive conference. So many great players coming here. So that's the thing I talked to my dad about as well when I first came in. Big 12 is, is, a, is a big play conference. So, and uh, I'm ready to just do it. And I'm ready to do it for the purple. What are the differences you've been able to pick up between D'Antonio and, uh, and Kleinman? Man, probably... It's just climbing is just, man, is such a, a personal coach. And um, we heard that when he first came in here, that he, he's a guy that literally knows every single guy on the roster. And from the second he walked through the door, you could get that vibe from him. Um, just, a, just a great guy, just in general. Now you're just speaking about coaching. He's so involved in coaching in, in, in the plays. And I've never seen a guy just so active, jumping around and talking to the defense, talking to the offense. I just, I just love it. You know, it, it makes you really want to play for him. You pound the stone. Describe that for me. Man, uh, Ben Newman came in here. And uh, he, he gave us a talk. That's one of Coach Kleinman's good friends. And, you know, he, he referred to pound the stone, and that's just going at it day by day. You know, if you win that day, win the dang day, if you win that day, you build upon that, at the end of the day, you're going to end up where you want to be. You know, it may seem a little long in the, in, in the process, but you keep pounding, you keep pounding, so you're going to end up where you want to be. What, what's your favorite route? Deep route nine. Go ball. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Go ball. What kind of, you can ask Skyler. What kind of chemistry you got with uh, Skyler right now? Man, I, I feel like that trust is really good in there. Um, I know it's obviously going to take time. Uh, just, just getting everything down to it because you can always get better. And, you know, it's never perfect. So just, just heading into this year, I want to make sure that the spring – we get this offense down, you know, get a lot of good timing down that, to the point where when we hit this next offseason period before fall camp, that when we're getting our offseason throws in, it's just straight, just getting timing down. We know the offense, we got all that down. Then by fall camp, we had a full throttle ready for the season. So we're just taking it day by day, but it's going really well. You talk about Zub and Sean being ready and having their goals and being ready to go, but this will be your debut here. I know you got to be excited. What would be your goal this season? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, 
I, I, I write down my goals uh, and I got them, but I don't know. Just just overall, I just want to say I want to be out there, you know, make plays for the team to win and really just be the best teammate out there. You know, sitting last season, having to watch, just this feeling in my gut like, man, I, I, I really want to be out there and affect the game just because I want to win for these guys. I got so personal with these guys, not playing, but really cheering them on every day. So I just want to go out there and really make plays for my teammates. Yeah. Was that hurtful for you last year being on the sideline, knowing you couldn't participate and seeing K State not going to a ball? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because, you know, nobody likes losing. And I know K State, you know, we used to winning. So let's just say it's not going to be the same this year. You know, we, we ended to win it. So. Yeah. Scott Fritz from Go Park Cat. Um, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Obviously not a, not a Kansas kid and signed with Michigan State. I'm curious, what were your impressions of the K-State program, you know, as a high school kid growing up and then before you got here? I just knew Bill Snyder. You know, you always hear about yeah. them. But uh, just when I got here, you truly embraced the family aspect that we have here, uh, how close we are as a team. Uh, it, it's second to none. I know I've been in another university, and I can say that it's just different, you know, right. the emphasis on being a family, you know, you don't really put that much emphasis, you know, it's usually on just, you know, wins and stats or yeah. whatever. No, they, they want to make sure it's a close brotherhood. Yeah. Climbing emphasized that just as much. So. You've said great things about Coach Climbing, but what was your initial reaction? You transferred here because of Bill Snyder, then he's gone. What was your first thought when that first happened? You know, happened? it was like, hey, you know, what are you going to do? But, yeah. uh, you know, you just got to have faith at the end of the day. And I had faith in the program that they was going to bring a good guy in. And they brought in Coach Kleiman, and I couldn't be happy. So. Yeah. You referenced a lot of other receivers being talented, but mm -hmm. is there some level of relief for being happy that with a new coach it's a clean slate, nobody's ahead of somebody else, and you have a chance to? Absolutely. But um, at the end of the day, even if it wasn't, you know, I'm always a guy that wants to compete. And uh, I know we got good guys in that room that are ready to compete as well. Yeah. Uh, so at the end of the day, each day is a competition, regardless if the same coach was here, you know. So I don't really want to say that. That's I'm happy because you know right. there's a new coach and that it's a clean slate. Nobody knows. Well, they still know Sean's a good playmaker. Yeah. They still know Zuber's a good playmaker. So uh, I don't want to say that, but I'm ready to compete each and every day and just get my playing time. How it does so?